Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to showcase a brand new free asset pack that just dropped from Kitbash 3D. If you guys know me, you'll know that I love free assets. And if you haven't heard of Kitbash 3D before, basically they're a business that creates these 3D model kits. Each kit has its own theme. So there's things like a New York City kit, they have medieval kit, cyberpunk kit, a steampunk kit. Basically the list goes on and on. If you can think of a kit, chances are they probably have it. Anyways, the reason why I'm covering them is sometimes on a very special occasion, they give one of these kits away for free. In fact, two years ago, back in 2022, they gave away this free asset pack, the Mission to Minerva kit, which is sort of like a sci-fi themed kit. And this is actually still free to download right now. So if you actually want to check that out, I made a separate video on that. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Anyways, this year's free asset pack that they're giving away is called the Secrets to Luminara. We're going to deep dive and check out all of the free assets that you get from this pack including i will show you how to actually get access to this pack and download it for free so if you guys haven't already make sure that you leave a like on the video and comment down below it really helps push this video to the youtube algorithm also if you want to learn more about game development in unreal engine 5 you can check out some of my courses on my website where you can learn how to make all sorts of different games i have a multiplayer survival game course on there as well as a mobile game course so yeah check out those courses on my website smartpoly.teachable.com and with Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so first of all, I want to show you guys how you can get your hands on these free assets. All you have to do is head over to Kitbash 3D's website. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Note, I'm not affiliated with them in any form, so I'm not getting paid to promote them. I don't get any kickback or anything if you, I refer you guys to them. But all you have to do is go to this website and create an account. It's free. So I just click sign in here and if you haven't created an account, you can just click the sign up. And once you've created an account, you want to go ahead and click on this download cargo. This is basically their third party application that you download onto your computer that will allow you to browse all of the assets that they have. So once you've created a kit, you go ahead and click on this download for Windows. Then you can go ahead and launch the application. So this is what it will look like. It'll be called cargo. And now you can start browsing all of the kits and all the assets. So not everything on here is free. So if you want to just view only free assets, you can just go to models and under the access you can filter by free and so these will be all the free assets that come included now if you want to just browse kits you can go over to kits and like I said, not everything on here is free. The only free kits are the Secrets of Luminar, which is the new kit that we'll review, as well as the Mission to Minerva kit right over here. So if we just click on the Secrets of Luminar, which is the new kit, you can basically go through all the assets that come included with the kit, select it, and click on the asset and click download. Now to actually download the asset and add it to Unreal Engine, it's actually very similar to Quixel Bridge. You'll actually need to first install a plugin to Unreal Engine. So you'll just go to your account and settings and just follow the instructions. It's actually pretty straightforward. And then you'll be able to click add or import and it will add it, that asset to your project. Now I've done this for all of the assets in this pack, which is called the Secrets of Luminar. And basically this kit is sort of like a Lost Ruins pack. And I sort of get uncharted vibes from this because they have all these ruins that you have to explore as well as these really good vehicles so yeah let's go ahead and start exploring some of these so let's start over here so first of all we have sort of this this blimp which has a boat attached to it so it's a very unique design in the case that you have a floating boat but as you can see it's pretty well detailed all the assets in here are really well detailed you can use them for game or for films and the nice thing about all of these is that they actually have interiors, so you could decorate and add some interior props. In fact, over here in this boat house, you actually have some interiors like a steering wheel. And in the back, you have things like books, this painting, and this little furnace. So again, they're very detailed. And the nice thing about these is all those assets in there are actually modular. So here's just the raw boat model. You could obviously use this in some sort of fishing game if you want or some sort of game where you're driving a boat in the ocean. So you can use and repurpose any of the models that you see in this kit. You don't have to strictly use them the way that they're intended. So yeah, very high detail. And again, you can look in the inside. It's all stripped of all those assets. So all those assets are fully modular. You can attach them, detach them, do whatever you want. Now next up, we have this cargo plane, which is very nicely detailed. And even this one has an interior as well. So if we go inside, you can see what the cockpit looks like. It's very well detailed as you can see. And 
even in the interior here we have things like seats and it goes all the way out to the door and a nice thing about this is again everything in here is modular so if i were to select on this model you can see that we have things like the flaps these are all separate meshes so if i wanted to open something like a door so if i select door l over here I can rotate it. You can see I could open the door if I wanted to. So if I wanted to add some sort of interaction, obviously we need to adjust the pivot point to make it right over here. But as you can see, we can do things like open up the doors, flaps, things like that. And another thing is they have this vehicle. So again, this is giving sort of uncharted vibes because they have all these different things for exploration. So this vehicle looks like some sort of off-road vehicle. We could go in the interior. You can see that we have a little steering wheel in here and that's the back. And of course, on the top, we have some supplies and stuff like that. And the nice thing again about this is that it's fully modular. So you can see all the wheels are taken off here. The doors are detachable. The stuff on the top is detachable. So you could really come in here and completely set up the vehicle as drivable and set up some of the doors, everything as interactable. So you could open them up, close them, do whatever. Okay, so over here, you can see a chest. We have some of these little artifacts over here. And because this is some sort of ancient ruins themed kit, you have these different traps. So we have like these poison dart traps. They can fire off poison darts. Uh, we have things like these spikes. We have a trap door here. We have this little spinning blade. So these would make really fun, interactable gameplay experiences. And then we have things like these bridges, wooden bridges. Then over here, we have things like ramps. These are some different tomb pieces. We have stuff like ladders. And then over here we have different pieces of the ruins. So these are all modular. And what you'll notice is we'll actually start over here at the larger assemblies. So you can see that this asset pack comes with five of these pre-assembled building structures. So over here we have sort of like this ancient ruins collection. We have these big torches out in the front. And then you can go into the center over here where we have sort of like this altar, all the stairs that go all the way up to like this temple area. They have some chests in there. So maybe you could add some sort of loot that the player can access. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that one over there. We can go over to this next one. This one is a little bit more interesting. You have some more ruins here, some rock debris. And then of course a staircase that goes all the way up here. You have something like this wooden bridge and... Again, some more areas for the player to climb. So they have things like ladders, bridges. So you can make this sort of like a point of interest that the player has to reach to collect some sort of relic or, or part of the gameplay story. Okay, so there is that one. The next one over here, we have this big courtyard collection. Again, it's very vertical. All of these assets are very vertical in the sense that you have areas that the player can climb up onto. And again, all these assets are fully modular. So if I were to select any one of these big asset collections, it's just made up of different mesh components, which I have all in the background over there. So I'll show you here in a second. But basically that's what all of these are just assembled of. Just these little modular pieces that you can put together to create larger assets that you can design a level with. So yeah, the whole reason why they're actually giving away this asset pack for free and the reason why they gave away last year's asset pack, the Mission to Minerva, which is like a sci-fi themed kit, is because they're actually doing some sort of challenge where you can download their free asset pack and create either a game or a film or something with it. And they have prizes for the challenge. I don't really have much info on it, but if you guys want to check it out, you can go to their website. But like I said, I made a review video about two years ago, back in 2022, of the Mission to Minerva kit. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But yeah, this asset collection over here, you can see they have like these little like water or oil. Basically, it's like filtering down into this area. So I'm not sure what's really going on over here, but you can see up here is like a little artifact that the player will have to collect. And then, of course, you have a bridge and staircase that leads all the way up there. But yeah, those are all five of the buildings, collections that you get. Over here are all the different modular pieces. So you can see you have things like this interior building piece. 
And then these top areas where you could have bridges and things connecting these together. This would be a really cool pack to integrate with the game animation sample pack because you could just vault and climb over all the different ruins and jump from building to building. And again, some of the other different asset pieces over here. And these are sort of like the bridge sections. So you can make these bridges that connect together and you could add some parkour. You can make part of it, you know, destroyed and the player would have to jump from one end to the other. Again, some more different asset sections over here that the player can run through. And the nice thing about these assets, they're not too high detailed. If I zoom up on here, it's not like nanite quality level. You can enable nanite on these, which is nice. But if you wanted to get a even higher level of detail, you could add things like nanite displacement if you really wanted to. But as you can see, these are like the different canal pieces that are sort of holding water or some sort of liquid in them. You could add a really fun mini game to this if you wanted to, where, you know, the player would have to rotate certain pieces and get the, you know, water to line up to solve some sort of puzzle. So that'd be a really fun mini game. Then you have some ruin pieces. So these are just different ruins, broken pieces of the temple, things like that. And then, of course, you have, again, more pieces over here, roof pieces, more different types of platforms that the player would run on. Okay, over here we have some stairs, we have sort of like this portal or gateway, and again, some more different pieces. Over here, these are like different floor pieces, so if you wanted to add a basic floor, you could add those. And of course, we have some different roof pieces. And then over here, we have different types of traps. So you can see this is like a wooden trap you could fall into. You could add some sort of chaos physics to destroy the wood there. And then of course we have these spiky traps over here. So again, you could really make some really nice interactable gameplay elements with a lot of these features that you find in this pack. Anyways, that is it for this video. Those are all the free assets that you get in the Secrets of Luminar kit. Let me know what you guys think about these free assets down in the comments down below. I'm interested to see what you guys are wanting to use these assets for. Me personally, I'm sort of thinking of like a Uncharted type game where you have to explore the ruins, an adventure game where you can drive your vehicle through a jungle. You have to solve all these different puzzles and avoid the different booby traps. Let me know what you guys are going to be using these assets in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video and make sure you subscribe for more future videos, especially if you want to keep up to date on any free asset packs. Because if I find any free asset packs, I'll certainly make a video on it and share it with you guys. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So check out my multiplayer survival game course on my website, smartpoly.teachable.com. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.